everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome back to my Unity FPS game devlog number two. Last time I added an environment, a player, and some enemies. This time I added lots of guns and you can switch between them. And I also added health and ammo. And I also added health and ammo pickups because if you have no ammo or very low health, you might need some ammo or health to fight the boss. So let's get straight into the demonstration. So we have our little pistol from last time. Last time it was just a cube, but this time it's a pistol, which is far, far better. Now you see as I got health, so it can damage me and I will actually die. So this time we can switch between weapons. This is a basic pistol that you're holding in your hand like pew like that. And then we have I have a machine gun and the bullet in the machine gun is actually very quick. And you might notice it, it, its bullet is yellow. So I've also got a sniper. The fire rate is very slow, but the bullet is very powerful. It can kill one little enemy at a time, while the normal machine gun or pistol needs two seconds, two or three shots to kill one. So let me go to my boss, and this only needs three shots to kill the boss. Like one, two, three, three. So now instead, I'm gonna get some health, this is the health pickup, and let me show you the ammo pickup. So for this one, it only gives five, but let's see what's the pistol and the machine gun. It gives 50. Do you know why the sniper is like very slow fire rate and has less ammo? Because it is very powerful. It can kill one enemy at a time which is insane. So I think that's it for this game. And then I'll show you something really cool at the end. So stay tuned. Like first at the guns, which are all disactivated here in the game view. So it's, the player is only a capsule, there's no gun. So when it's in the game, uh, we have a current gun, which takes control of the gun. Zero is the pistol, one is the, the repeater gun, which is the machine gun, the brown one, and then two is the sniper. So we can change between the guns. But I started off with a problem. So when we reach two and then we press tab gain, it will switch to the next gun, which is four. But there was but it is out of range for the list. So there's only three guns in the list. So it got to the fourth gun, which is three, because the list starts from zero. So it has no gun to choose there because it's out of range basically. So what I did is like every time you switch a gun, it checks if the gun number is more than the total of the list. It will change automatically to the first gun, which is the pistol. And that's actually really cool. But before I did that, I added the health because you're before you are invincible and what's the fun with a game like that? So I gave it some health and then I gave it a UI which is like an art in the screen. So it's basically a health bar and then after I've done the health bar I added some health pickups which is just blue blobs that spins. So after I did that, I did the ammo. Otherwise you will have infinity ammo. 
and it will be very unrealistic to see how weird does the ammos come from. So I added some ammo and the UI text just like the health and then I added the ammo pickup which is pretty like the health because if you have zero ammo and you have to defeat all the enemies to win the game and then you have still two enemies left but you have zero ammo it will be impossible to beat the game though I have to restart it so I added some ammo pickup and then I'm going to work on the aiming today after I finish recording so I'll make the aiming because my accuracy isn't just just isn't enough so I need some aiming to help me and then I may also do some post-processing effects which is just to make the game look better or nicer just post-processing so as I promised, I'm gonna show you something that is crazy at the end. So let me show you. So I also add a auto fire. So let me go to the player. Let me change the machine gun. I have the machine gun as the auto fire. So let me change this. This has a gun script that takes control of the gun like the speed or something firing so we can't auto fire zero it'll be too fast and the a thousand ammo it's just not enough I'll change this to 0 0.2 now let me get back the game so this comes auto fire if I click it but if I put my hand on the mouse, it can auto fire like really fast. But to make the lightsaber effect, as I call it, we need lots of ammo. I'll just do like nine. Okay, that's definitely enough. And then fire rate, this is zero seconds. So fire every, I don't know how the systems, every time the update function wakes. So let me see, tab. Boom! That's actually really cool. It's like a lightsaber. Like, boom. It's a line that you can cut enemies with one shot. It's like one shot cutting an enemy, which is really sick. Let's see how we will fight the boss with this. Let me first get rid of all those red blobs here. See if my accuracy is correct. The, the small one. And the this is my worst enemy here. It's moving, it's hard to catch. But this has the fire rate of zero. It's like there's no waiting between every shot, which is insane. And if it had auto fire, it's just too insane. But if it's not auto fire zero, it just depending on how fast you can click the mouse. For me, it's like I can't spam the mouse. It's very hard. I need to play Geometry Dash for like 10 hours to get the spam. So before you go, let me show you the code that runs the weapon system. So wait for Visual Studio to load up finally. Okay. This is the gun script that every gun or weapon has and then it takes care of the ammo UI but the ammo UI can only be accessed in UI controller or UI controller 1. UI controller takes hold of the health sliders and tech and the UI controller 2 takes care of just the ammo tags. So we use this and this is the part for the fire counter. So like, every time you fire a shot, it restarts the fire counter. And then you, if the fire counter is at zero, you can shoot. So every time you shoot, there will be a fire counter before you shoot the next pistol. Otherwise, you'll go like, 
if you are a pro geometry dash player, you can literally make the auto fire effect on a pistol, which is insane, and we don't want that to happen. Yeah, and this part take care of the get ammo function, so like the ammo pickup. So it's really easy when you when the get ammo function, like when a function activates get ammo, you'll just add current ammo, the pickup amount, and the this just show the one below it just shows the the UI controller just shows the UI just reloads the UI I think so and let me show you what makes you switch weapons so this is the code that switch the gun so right switch gun uh, active gun dot game object dot set active force so like the gun you're holding the game object you just don't set active otherwise you'll have two guns in one hand which will be act actually sick and then current gun plus just plus one so the current gun plus one so zero is the pistol and then you add one which is one and you have the machine gun and then you take the old gun's current gun, you just change the player's current gun into the, the next one. Because if you call a pistol and shoot out the sniper's bullet, it's really insane. And then you just active the current gun because otherwise you won't be able to see it. And then you change, and then you change the ammo tax. And then this will activate it. If input dot get key on key code dot tab, which is basically means that when you hit down tab, it will switch the weapon. It will run this function. That's it for today. And if you like my channel, please subscribe and press like. Let me just get rid of this annoying enemy. Okay, he's dead. So subscribe, like it, and then you can add some comments to let me do some other things such as a rocket booster like, like that, something like that. Yeah, and a little turret that will shoot you or a companion. So that's all for today. Today I did some sick weapons and we can change between them. UI text, health and ammo and pickups. Yeah, and that's all I did for today's video. So bye.